Welcome to this video. It's about Alec B, OpenBox, and how to install it. This is in VirtualBox, and um, it thinks that it is a BIOS system. You can also have a UEFI system, and then you don't get this graphical uh, logo there. This Arch Linux logo is have five lines, go up, first line is the one you need. You boot, you can actually change here. If you have problems, you can change the line and even edit it. So tap start typing behind it and um, look up what it needs to have in order for your hardware to boot. But normally everybody takes number one. And then we have some messages we get to get rid of, we need to get rid of after a clean installation. They are always there. And we boot up into your own desktop. That's new, April 2020. You'll see open box already. So you can have a look and say, let's have a look around and see what all this is. One, two desktops, uh, three, well, workspaces, let's call them like that maybe. Anyway, you can go for a terminal file manager and have a play around before you install everything. But at some point in time, you wanna have this thing back and you're wondering where is it, right? So you could go to the menus. We have the Linux tweak tool up here that we recognize. We have development, graphics, Network, settings, tweak tool, welcome app. That's the one we like and we need to in, to use there. But there's also install Arch Linux here or the debugging uh, function of it. And another thing that's quite important because it's general knowledge, everything will work if you type it. PK, PK execute me please, Calamaris. Now I have a QWERTY, well I have an LZT, but he thinks he's QWERTY, right? So I need to think then make my fingers move in the wrong ways. And then we have Calamars. So we can run that as well like this. So this is open box, we're putting straight up. You like it, you hate it, you don't install it if you hate it, right? Otherwise you go to system, install, let's maybe start with um, the way we started, the welcome app. Because I want to explain you as well that we have here the run G parted and there's also a button here that maybe is interesting for you. Some other things in Arch Linux collide, clash or just conflict. So it's either or, either install this one or that one, either install this one or that one. And the same goes for um, LibreOffice for instance. We advise you to run G parted, clean everything out start from scratch as if this would be a hard disk or an SSD coming from the shop. Then run Calamaris. This one can close, well, can keep it up here. Then we uh, rerun it, we take a look for future reference, that's the 3.2.20. At this point in time there is an error message and maybe we'll see it later on. If it says U mount, then it means you actually have a successful installation and you need to reboot right so it's i've been told that in version 21 and 22 is already underway that um, that's going to be solved so it's just a mi minor annoyance if, if i tell people that's cool you just install whatever you like in this these um, windows and these uh, screens here and that goes for linux kernels and i've made already a video where I installed Linux Zen. I'm gonna do this time an encryption, for example, in this one. Uh, so it's all decisions, decisions and choices. You install NVIDIA if you need it. I've just responded on Discord. What do I need to install? In his case, he needed to install NVIDIA. You can do it now or you can do it later. It's all up to you. Personally, I'm not that fond of installing NVIDIA, but if you have a screen that you I hate that you say it's, it's lagging or whatever problem you have, then maybe you do need NVIDIA drivers, right? So it's um, a choice anyway to install straight out of the box here. Do watch the videos about Arch Linux and Arch Linux D because I go more in detail on all these applications and there are other applications, other videos I mean, where um, I just talk about software because we have a lot to choose from. And what are all these things? Two options, watch the video. Second option, install everything and try it out, right? Um, so it's up to you to really know your tools. What tools has Linux for free? 
what can I choose? What will I choose in the next installation? So maybe this could be your test run and say, that's a great application. That's a great application. Next time I'm going to select Ghostwriter, right? These are all offices. These are all the multimedia and that's, this is small selection. There is more out there, but the most important ones are in here, internet stuff. Locale means if you install this for Russian, then Firefox will be Russian. Calamari is in Russian, Firefox in Russian, Calamari is in Russian, LibreOffice is in Russian. So that's how it works. You want to keep it English? Well, do like I do now and it will be in English. All right, theming. Some things clash. This guy clashes with that guy and we want to remind you with that with this button that we have created a new button down here that shows you this doesn't mind don't don't I mean, it doesn't matter for calamaris it just uh, installs everything and everything finishes fine but it's one of the two that will be installed not two of them pacman is against it pacman is our installer package manager pacman all kinds of fun stuff lots of stuff fun stuff in steam of course don't need to uh, uh, explain you that that's a whole library there and we have lots of applications on linux too of games and these are all the utility stuff and we are almost through check out all these things in here more stuff and article links dev development is for us just a click and we have everything we need to develop next next well you know what this is select where you live if it's not working that means that the server of uh, plasma is down then you need to select uh, manually no problem that's important select the keyboard see that's correct erase the disk one two three options i promised an encryption and now we have six options right encrypted or not encrypted and number seven is gonna be do a manual thing i'm gonna encrypt with no swap and then you see already what it's gonna be there is an articlinux.com a webs an article with 30 videos plus where we show um, how to encrypt how to make a home partition how to make a boot partition and so on and so on so manual stuff as well personally i'm not fond of it but it's a choice and the knowledge is out there Choose whether you want to log out to login or not. Same password or not is a choice there. And it's a little bit different now. It says Lux, right? Lux. Arch Wiki Lux. Read. So it's going to encrypt things. We can get rid of this. This is no longer needed. <coughs> I'm checking my paper here. There's one thing I haven't mentioned, which is um, interesting to tell anyway. You still see people trying to burn an ISO. It is the first hurdle, right? Burning the ISO. Couldn't be easier, easier with Etcher. Ctrl Alt F, let's use the time to just have some fun. In open box live USB here. Etcher, if I answer burn with Etcher, gonna be always good because Etcher is there for everything right so it's there for Linux it's there for Windows it's there for Mac it's super simple it is really just this thing select your image select your drive click I mean how easy can it be it's always gonna work I recommend that to people stuck on Facebook Disco, um, Discord Telegram wherever that's the best advice you can give and you're there's certainly 100% um, helped with it. It's gonna work, it's simple. All right, I'm pausing the video till this thing here installs. All right, our installation finished. Now well, everything is done, restart now, and we just need to click done, and then we're out of this installation. This is VirtualBox, so I need to select boot existing OS, and then we get this strange thing, and I say, oh my God, it's broken, no. We've encrypted it, attempting to decrypt master key. Sorry, enter passphrase. Well, the passphrase is that one. If you do a typo, restart. It's just screwed. Restart. 
it's an attempt to hack your system and it's not gonna boot so shut down the power boot back up and this time don't make a mistake it's gonna take the while it takes it takes the time it takes right it needs to decrypt your system you want safety then you wait a few seconds longer because that basically that's it right encrypting means without password you can't nobody can get at your system and if you lose your password it in detail you have lost the access to your computer everything is here everything is fine need to know more information need to figure out more how does this open box thing work you navigate to arcolinuxd.com also arcolinux.com since xfc openbox i3 are part of the flagship it's also going to be on arcolinux dot com as well so phase two open box installation open box articles this has everything you need to have uh, know about open box like i said you see only three that's because this thing is actually part of our flagship so you go to articles.com let's give you some examples um design for instance tin2 tin2 is explained that's this thing here right tin2 design Conkeys and cursors, all explained, Rofi is there. So lots of things apply to open box. And you figure your way out in the menus, Zen, the, the Conkeys, I mean, settings in here, lots of information. But this is basically what you need to figure out in open box, the preferences contain all the settings of your system. All right, have fun and I'm exiting open box. Shut up.